Right then everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another video. Um, thank you for joining me in this one. You are all very welcome to be watching. Thank you for joining. Anyway, this is called Gone Home and it was gifted to me by uh, my good fan, my good viewer, sorry. I hate calling you all fans. That just makes me sound like some, some kind of shitty celebrity or something. But no, no, I'm not. I don't like that. I, th I think viewers. I'm going to try and say viewers in future. This was gifted to me by a long time, very, very committed viewer um, called Pat Plusinic. No, yes. Shit, I always get your name wrong. I always get pronunciation wrong. That time it was right. Pat Plusinic, um, uh, or otherwise known as Adrenaline Rush. And he gifted this, this to me as a birthday present. Um, so thank you so much, Pat. Um, it's fully controller supported, so I'm actually able to play it okay for now. And um, yeah, he gave it to me a long time ago, and I haven't got around to playing it, playing it yet. So here we go. I've heard only good things about it, and that's what he said as well. He's heard only good things about it. So let's let's get going. Walk using the left stick. Look around using the right stick. That's fine. I don't know if this is particularly a horror game. I think it's more of a kind of drama looking around solving puzzles kind of game but I like those um, when I know that's what they are <laughs> um, and it might have a sort of eerie atmosphere as well but either way I think it might be a bit heart-wrenching according to uh, reviews but I know nothing there goes my phone I don't really know anything about this I know I say that about every game all I know is that I play someone who's just come home after a year at sea or a year at war or Hi, whatever. Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Well, hi. Okay, so I guess I play her coming home. Maybe I don't. We'll see. Let me just brighten this up. Ah, there you go. You can see me better now, can't you? That's all you care about. 7th of June, 1995, 1.15am. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Alright. One thing I'm going to do very quickly is see if I can put subtitles on. Uh, no subtitles there. Um, aha! Display subtitles. There you go. Because I know it annoys me when I watch things and I don't have subtitles. Right, so I'm Caitlin Greenbrier, and I live in Portland, which is, I assume, in the US. Oh, I like it. It looks nice. Nice, nice looking. Oh, open the doors. Christmas duck. Okay, right, so I can have a good look at it. Ooh, $5.99. How do I put it down? There we go. Good old Christmas duck. Okay. So I'm learning how to do all of this now. That's quite good. Right then, let's, uh, let's read this. Ah, oh, okay. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please, don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want Mum and Dad, anyone, to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. Okay, well, I assume that's my brother, then. Oh, it's locked. So is that. Uh, right, where do we keep the key? Is it in one of the lamps, perhaps? Hmm... There'll be a spare key somewhere, I tell you. Unless I have it in here. No. Under the doormat. Under the doormat. It's always under the doormat. No, perhaps not. In the plant pot? Aha! In this. Okay, maybe not. Right, well, we're stuck, guys, I'm afraid. I think we... Aha! That's nice. Ah, there's the key. I knew it. Now, look, let's close these up. There we go. I want to try and role-play this as realistically as possible. Press left bump to check the contents of your backpack. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, that's me! 
Kettling Greenbrier. Europe trip. So I came from Amsterdam. Ah, you see, I'm all high and stuff. Spare key. Hidden under the good old Christmas duck. I should see. I should have seen that. There's the map. Journals. Okay. Unlock the door. Oh my god. Hello. Yes, maybe it is a bit eerie. Oops, sorry. I just have to look at all, all of this, I think. Is there a light in here? I could do with turning a light on. Oh, there is one on. I'll leave that on then. So we've got boxes. Aha, open the folder. Read the invoice. Oh, movers. Boxes, kitchen, boxes, bedroom, bedroom, library, office, television, television. Continued on attached worksheets. Right, well... From Forest Grove, Oregon to One Arbor Hill, Oregon. Dear Katie, ah. so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. No. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Fair enough. Directions to work from New House. Left on Crabtree, right on Bullhorn, exit on 47 North, right on 202 East. Entrance on right past Wage Road, Flintlock. Travel time, one hour, ten minutes. Okay. But really, you should have just uh, used Google Maps. It's a lot easier. Oh god, I wonder if I'm going to have to remember all this. I'm not going to look, I mean, look up any walkthroughs for this. It's all going to be just me. Just me playing. Right. Let's have a little look. Anyone in here? Turn on the light. Bloody hell, that's loud and horrible. No. Author magazine, Stephen King, get published, The Secret, The Blank Page, Top 20 Authors, Conquer It. Alright. What's in here? Plasters, ooh. Quick fix, fabric bandages. Right, okay, right, I'm getting the hang of this, how to use it. <laughs> Flush that toilet. Oh, there's no mirror, that's a shame. Turn that off. I don't know why I'm looking at everything like this. Sparkle! I just like to. I think it's a nice, uh, nice, nice touch to be able to do all this. I'll right, we'll close the door, turn the lights off. Ah, here we are. Ah, Sam is a girl. Sam, Katie, Mum, which is Jan, and Dad, which is Terry. Oh, we look like a happy family. Any messages? Sam. Sam. Hello. Is that me? Sam. Jesus. Sam, where are you? Is that me? Yeah, because my really? sister's Sam, isn't it? I need to talk to you. Oh God, I'm slightly eerie now. So I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. That's the one we just heard, wasn't it? Alright. Sam, Daniel from the old neighbourhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Okay. Mum, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> okay, I've, I've got to try and get this in my head. Is this the new house? I think it must be. I don't want to go upstairs. This must be the new house. Yeah, look, we've got all the boxes and stuff. Hello? What's in here? Board game. I love board games. Over the Alps, a novel travelling game. That sounds really cool. I'd like to play that. 
put that back. Pull the string. Ah, nice. Thing in those boxes. No, we're fine. Turn that off. Close that. Right. Where are we off to next? Oh dear, I don't like that. Voodoo skull. Hecho in Mexico. Well, that means made in Mexico, I assume. Regional track and field finals. Uh, Caitlin Greenbrier, first place. Girls 100 meter relay. Alright, so I run fast. So I shouldn't do any Alan Wakes or anything. Alright, cool. And I did the long jump first place. Right, so I'm athletic. I'm athletic is what we need to know. Anything interesting in here? No. Nope. That rain makes it sound really cosy in here, doesn't it? It's really cosy. Turn that on. Empty house, huh? What's in here? Read the letter. Dear Jan, that's my mother. It's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our own our dream homes i always said i wanted a mansion you said you just wanted a house in the woods look who got both somebody up there likes you i could use some of that magic send me some lotto numbers and i'll play them seriously but i shouldn't be complaining about this uh, good old split level we've had since bob transferred to winnipeg we just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know. That's a lovely J on jealous. Look at that. It's quite nice handwriting. Let me know if you ever want to trade places, dot, dot, dot. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, <laughs> right back soon. I miss you, Rumi, Carol. Right, okay, so. Where is everyone, then? Why did no one return any of my messages crying? Have they been gone for a year, then? Nah, I need to need to check this thing again. Oh shit, sorry. Huh. <laughs> I'm just pressing things. No, I need to have a quick look at this again. So Destination. Oh, August first of August ninety four. Isn't the date? Hang on. So I'm just trying to work out if this is where we need to go. If this is the new house or not. Well, okay, I assume it's not the new house since, um... Yeah, I assume it's not the new house since it's, uh... Since I'm having to sort of look round it like I don't know it. You know, that makes it seem like it should be the new house, so... Yeah. So I did the Bloody hell. Don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, put it back. Oh my god. Let's turn that light on. Oh! Flickering lights. Ah, oh, I don't like this game any longer. Pat, you bastard. If there are any jump scares in this, I'm going to shit myself. It's a radio on. Welcome, new student. We hope that you're excited as your about your first day at Goodfellow High School, as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. Folder, notebook, six pens, coloured pencils, combination lock, nutritious lunch, um, positive attitude. Ah, that's the only thing she didn't cross off. Brilliant. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8am. Bloody hell. See you soon and again, welcome. It's a few too many commas, Beth Valence, the principal. Oh Aha. my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, uh, and there the I am, house. introducing myself to the class. Yeah. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. Hmm? I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <laughs> Great. Psycho House. Right. Is that me? Hmm. Love the hair. Nice pink hair. Obituary. Oscar Doc Mason. Masan, 60 of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. He was born on September the 8th, 1933, in the house that would be for the rest his home for the rest of his life. His survivors include his nephew, Terence Greenbrier. Alright, that's my father then. Okay. 
Yeah, now this is a postcard that I sent. Hi, Mum, Dad and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit, Je Le Petit Déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of fi film! I'm turning it down a bit. Um, anyway, I shouldn't be doing French accents. That's probably why it made me jump. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Oh no, it's turning sort of Asian. Sam, I am bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company. Since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Mum, Dad, and Sam. Okay, right, so One Arbor Hill is the new place because she's saying weird. Fine. Oh, sorry. I need to throw that on the floor. Put it back. There we are. Close that drawer. Oh my god, this has got side doors. Don't think I checked the other one properly. In the other room. Right, cool. Bloody hell. I'm glad there are lights and that they all work. Shit. No, I'll leave that on, thanks. Don't know why I'm picking everything up. <laughs> it's just... Uh, go away. There we go. Examine paper. So someone's been printing this, have they? Um, they say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialisation, but sureness purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination of LD, CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. Okay, so they finished halfway through. It's a bit weird. You can do better. Back to basics. What if JFK wasn't JFK? JFK, Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. Whoops. Paradox results in JFK death being desired outcome. Grassy, Null, Steamrod, I don't get any of this. Magic Bullet Theory. So, right, so they're quite in a... They're sort of a bit JFK-centric, aren't they? Three-ring binder. What's in this, then? Can I open it? No, there's nothing in it. Oh, yes, there is. Well, whatever. Nothing in that. It's very detailed, this. There's lots of good stuff in here. By the way, sorry if it's uh, taken me a while to look at things and be able to pick things up and do things accurately because I'm using a controller and I'm still not very good at it. The killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the movie, now discover the truth. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of all time. Yeah, there are some people who are very big conspiracy theorists on this, aren't there? Ah, let's turn the fan on. It's a bit warm. Right. Terence Greenbrier. Wiring in the house is technically up to safety, however, multiple layers of wiring have been added into the structure over the last hundred years. It's uh, frequently unpredictable, lights blink out for no clear reason, pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. Okay. So I've got to deal with flickering lights. Turn that shit off. Uh, why do I have to deal with flickering lights? I really don't want to have to. Please don't make me jump. Please don't make me jump. Please don't make me jump. Thank you. I hate this game. <laughs> well, in fairness, I was playing Paranormal just the other day. Oh, I may have spoiled a, spoiled that for you now, if you weren't expecting it, but yeah. I was playing Paranormal, the new one, and it's, uh, it's bloody scary. What's this? A stranger under my roof? Best-selling advice for parents of teens. Oops. Teen years, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fair enough. So maybe we're pain in the ass kids, aren't we? Open folder, read letter. Zero, wait, 0451. Hmm, got to remember that. In fact, I'm going to start writing some of these numbers down because I reckon they'll probably be, they'll probably be quite useful. So 0451. Dear Terry, Terence, David asked me to write to you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the and from the usable copy, usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theatre aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd be cutting you loose. 
there's there are tens of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use but David's known you for a long time and he's the boss so I'm giving you one more shot on his say so you should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again then everybody will be happy Brent Kirkwood wow that's not good is it right 0451 so I've got that written down because you know I'm going to need it so Dad's been writing some things that we should he shouldn't have been writing. Fresh. God, it sounds horrible out there. Soft face. <laughs> right, scary being that close to the window. I'm going to leave. Ooh, is that a book I can read? No, it's not. Uh, is there anything else in here? There's not. Fine. Let's turn around. Turn off the lights. Uh, shut the door. My goodness. I'm expecting a person to be standing here very soon. Read crumpled papers. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Arch Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. Some starting to write a... Write a little story or novella there. Sorry, slow turn up. There we go, turn those off. Turn that off as well. Save electricity, everyone. You know, that's how you're supposed to do it. Ooh, another crumpled note. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm the be I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? Mm. I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? No. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Ah, you prick. What a prick. Kids can be so... cruel. Why? Flood conditions are expected at lower elevation. Oh. So it's not a slender man or anything. Why is it making weird noises? And who's taking the PlayStation? Someone's taking the PlayStation. Ah, B is Crouch. The Dark Crystal. <laughs> VHS, honestly. Oh, I suppose this is 1995, isn't it? Sam, thought this might help, Dad. Making friends, even when you're something. Even when you're shy. Aww. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them? Yeah. And you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. Sorry, there's someone drilling below I think she's a senior. Drilling she's usually dressed me. kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook. Looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Shut up! Till I noticed she and her friends Thank hang you. out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. That's very cool. Hmm. Can I put this in my backpack? Because matches are always useful. Although there aren't any left, so... You know. Stick it back in the fire. What's this letter then? Sorry about the drilling, like I say, I can't I can't help what someone below me's doing, can I? Very well. No. Hi Terry. Enclosed. Please find a Oh, there's lightning, drilling, everything. A pioneer. La la la. Oh right, so it's a sort of laser disc thing. Standard stuff like you gave us on the it's a combi player, so check its C D playback with a few discs as well as laser disc. And they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and toss link stuff high end buyers. Okay, so he, he he writes reviews for an electrical magazine. That's cool. That's fine. Ah, oh, someone's eating the pizza. Oh, it looks fairly fresh, though. So I can't have been here that long ago. No hilarious thing on the mug? Fair enough. Let's have a look in here. Ooh, a badge. Bratmobile. Brilliant. We call those badges rather than buttons in the UK. Don't know if you knew. Don't know if you care. TV listing. They want to watch The X-Files. Aha. Mork and Mindy. Oh my god, I'd forgotten about Mork and Mindy. Diagnosis murder. Good old Dick Van Dyke. What's this? Oi. Let me pick it up. There we are. 
It's a coaster. Let's put it on the table. Uh, why has that been knocked? Oh no, that's just so it can have some... Uh, give some light to the sofa. Cool. A cushion. Oh, I saw something. The Coliseum, the showplace of Oregon. Tradition of excellence. Ah, oh, Pulp Fiction 1994, of course. What so far? I mean, was this supposed to be June 1995? I haven't seen anything. Oh my god. I haven't seen anything about 1995 yet. It's all been 1994. Hauntings and poltergeists. Oh god. I think this is going to be a ghost story. Look, someone's been under there reading a scary book. I'm scared now. The Heaven at the Edge of the World. Heaven? Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2. Story The Turtle People, Part 1. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! Oh my god, it's like the lightning knew. It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought it too soon. The black ship came up along side, along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You are never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see your father was no liar. The captain kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed toward the sunset. Ah, oh, kids, kids' stories are hilarious. Let's close that. Oh my god, there's going to be a ghost. And it's going to scare the absolute shit out of me, isn't it? Time machine, blah blah blah. Ooh. It's the book that Dad wrote, The Accidental Saviour. Alright, so... Hmm... So, he's got a thing about that, hasn't he? Terry, hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionada has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your cast letter... It sounded like a window smashing, seriously. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature and writing stereo views is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to, send, uh, to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor and tell him your old college chum, Mike, sent you. Here's the address, blah, 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 blah. Do it, Mike. Okay, so that's what got him into it. Cheers, Mike. Um, that's what got him into the thing. Aha, grab cassette, put in tape recorder. Oh. It's a nice driving jumpy that. It's enough of that. Role model, eh? <clears throat> well, I wonder who wrote all that. Right, it looks like it's time to go upstairs, doesn't it? Oh, is there no door there? Oh, well, shit. Really wish that would stop. Bloody hell. Come on up. Open the door. Turn off the lights. In fact, I'm leaving them on. In case I need to go back along there. What's down here? Boone County phone book. Alright then. Haven't found a key, so I guess it's upstairs we go. Oh my god. Turn the lamp on. Open the door. Ah. Pack of cards. Aha. Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Plumes of smoke. So this is the 1st of October 94. Again, 1994. We'll rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of a forestry service run controlled burn of overgrown sections. Blah, da, 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 da. They've been preparing the area 8 till 5, right? So they're going to be burning, or well, they did burn the fire down. Janice Greenbrier. Ah, so she's a senior conservationist. Smoke will likely linger in the area through the following weekend. All right, that's good. 
That is good. Oh my god. Is that in real life, that knocking? I couldn't tell. I think it must be. It's probably the person downstairs printing, uh, knocking things in. Couples bowling, cooking class, cooking class, cooking class. Wow. Ballroom dancing, quick big meal for Terry and Sam. Ah, That's a nice weekly planner. Bruce Pendleton. So this will be where she works, presumably. To aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a rain... A ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest, effective 9294. Also, that's 2nd of September, isn't it? Please see attached personnel file. <clears throat> the overseeing officer at Flintlock is... Uh, uh, is Janice Greenbrier is charged with the supervision of transfer personnel. Oh, right, okay. Duration of transfer will be based upon performance evaluation, blah, blah, blah. Now, what the hell was that noise? 